Hey there, folks. Robazoid. Just finishing up a comment I left on Doomcock's new villain video. Yes, Dictor Van Doomcock. I would definitely check out Overlord DVD. That's a plug for his. That's a plug for his YouTube show. Now for mine. Yeah, this is the Robazoid. And uh, boy, oh boy, more Star Wars news. This goddamn thing will not stop, will it? I don't want to talk about Star Wars anymore. Hurry up January so I can talk more about Star Trek and the new Picard series. All right, all right. So I've been watching a lot of the videos, and also I've come to find that, yeah, the cast of the new Disney sequel trilogy, they are not happy about the direction Star Wars has been going in. I mean, you think we're not happy as fans? Oh, boy, the cast are really not happy. I mean, Mark Hamill has said on more than three occasions, I'm sure... <laughs> That uh, he didn't that he didn't like the way his character was utilized. Basically, he said I saw him more as Jake Skywalker, not Luke Skywalker, and I <clears throat> I let Ryan know Ryan Johnson, of course, that I fundamentally disagreed with his direction of how Luke should go. Yeah, I'm sort of quoting his words exactly. Um, and also, you'll have to pardon me; my allergies are acting up. Um, I'll read you just a little bit of what uh, the Wall Street Journal basically wrote. And, of course, you can tell from their timbre, even they don't buy into it. So this came out in the Wall Street Journal, of course. We're walking a very fine line, Mr. Iger said, and as he told him. He told him, if we don't satisfy most of the ardent fans, we'd be killed. Yeah, no shit, Skippy. The new Rise of Skywalker is still expected to be a blockbuster, and <clears throat> and those alienated by The Last Jedi have turned to Mr. Abrams for hope. Uh, no we haven't. As a matter of fact, we've turned away from Abrams. We know that hope is lost. Actually, that should be the subtitle of this film. All hope is lost. So yes, that's just wrong. Ten points off for that statement. Oh yes, and also the we know we'd we know we'd get we'd be killed. Well, yeah, definitely a couple points go on for that score. So really, that only gives you two points. So yeah, I think even the Wall Street Journal knows that this is not going anywhere, and they know that. Yeah, even they know that Jar Jar Abrams is a complete liar. And also, and speaking of liars, well, yeah. Kathleen Kennedy also lied when she said there were no comic books, no source material to work from. Bull shit. Of course there was. There was the Thrawn trilogy. There was Dark Empire. There was uh, all sorts of material. Anakin Solo. Uh, <clears throat> right. Mara Jade. Ben Skywalker. You'll have to excuse me because, well, my allergies are getting the better of me. It's unseasonably warm today, but I'm sure by the time you see this video, it'll feel more like December ought to. Um, so really, that's about it. Other than to say that, yeah, John Boyega and the rest of the cast are not very happy with how things have been turning out with Star Wars at all. And, of course, Boyega was extremely disappointed that his character, Finn, didn't get to do very much. Uh, because <clears throat> I think that the other YouTubers that I have read, that I've watched, and have uh, commented on, well, I agree that, yeah, the sequel trilogy really should have focused more on Finn, and it should have been about his story arc, because he makes the most important character arc of all, which is betraying the Empire, I mean First Order, and then uh, becoming one of the good guys, one of the Resistance fellows, and uh, basically learns a lot under Han, but uh, wants to understand the ways of the Jedi better. So he takes him to Luke and all that, and Luke trains him as his new apprentice. Ah, but there is one wrinkle, of course, I'm sure maybe a few of you might recognize. Finn would have to call him Master Luke. And, of course, yes, with times as PC as they are, well, some might take umbrage to a black man calling a white man Master. Hey, Get over yourselves, okay? The truth is, yeah. This really should have been about Finn's character arc, not about Rey. Rey should have been the proverbial damsel, just like Leia. But still, much like Leia, 
have the unconventional reactions of being tough and headstrong and being able to hold her own against the bad guys without being a complete Mary Sue. Don't you agree? Yes, but he joked about how you ain't gonna Disney plus me, and I can't say that I blame him, because Disney hasn't been handling Star Wars very well with the exception of the Mandalorian series, which I hear is mighty good. I don't have Disney plus, so how should I know if it's good or not? After all, I do believe this headline pretty much sums it all up. John Boyega says no way to returning in Disney Plus Star Wars projects. Yeah, again, don't blame him. One thing I do know for certain, John Boyega will go on to have a brilliant post-Star Wars career. Hey, he might be the Harrison Ford of the bunch, actually, to go on to do bigger and better things. We've already established that Boyega wants nothing to do with Disney Plus, which is a good thing. And also, in addition, it seems that he wants nothing to do with this franchise any further. And I can't say that I blame him, actually. After the way that, well, Disney pretty much sidelined him in The Last Jedi, reducing him to just a dumb comic relief character, or a sidekick, can you blame him? Something else we know, of course, is that, well, some of the cast are out there promoting Rise of Skywalker. Well, Mark Hamill is not among them. And yes, even Daisy Ridley's not immune from this, of course. Yeah, she's been attacked by SJWs as well, only because, well, she said she liked uh, Baby Yoda a lot better than the Porgs. Even hated the Porgs. I don't blame her, I can't stand them either. But, hey, my, my respect goes up for Daisy Ridley, even if she did this. Far away, a guy named Vader tried to kidnap a rebel princess, Leia. So she employed a droid to record her a quick note, she said. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. All right, enough. Yeah, best not to pretend that ever happened. I tell you, Leno would never allow that. And neither would certainly, certainly not would uh, Johnny Carson. Shame on you, Jimmy Fallon. Oh, well, we don't talk about that anymore. Well... So, there you have it, my friends. My respect for the cast, even Mark Hamill, has gone up since they are so unhappy with the Disney sequel trilogy and really, really unhappy with the way things have turned out. And you really can't blame them at all. <laughs> I mean, they pretty much were just hired to play roles they were told to play, but not in the way that they knew how to play them, especially Hamill. He understands his character. He's more protective of his character. And also, I think that Ruin Johnson just didn't understand what Star Wars was all about. It's all about family. Over the course of the three original films, Han, Luke, Leia, Chewie, the two droids, and even Lando, grew as a family. And that's what it's really all about. And Roundhead missed that in point entirely. And I don't think Jar Jar is going to be saving it. So, that's about it for me. I need a nap. I've been working all morning at my day job. So, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. And, oh yeah, one more thing. Disney, stop dicking around and just listen to the fans.